Hi there, this is Dave from Blue Sky Powered Paragliding. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to put, how to apply Parashield to your canopy. A lot of questions have, have arisen about uh, the proper way and the best way to do it. So generally speaking, what we do is we lay the parachute down completely on its back and then we'll fold in from the outside wingtip and start working from the, the wingtip towards the center of the canopy. If you have a large canopy, you're going to want to fold the canopy in half and then start from the center and work your way out towards the wingtip. So if you run out of product, uh, basically the, the wingtip is the only unaffected area. So the easiest way to do it, if you have fairly warm temperatures, you're only going to want to sp spray one cell at a time. So you can see here is a complete cell. And you see basically we're spray spraying one half of the cell using the, the uh, stream on the, uh, the spray bottle. Don't use the spray, you're not going to need that just yet. So once you've saturated it, then you can see our assistant here is basically wiping the uh, parashield into the product, or into the parachute, pardon me, and making sure to get the seams really, really well. So the seams is one area where you get a lot of uh, air leakage. And you can see the difference in the canopy versus uh, coated and uncoated. So once you coat it, it takes on a shiny appearance. And it basically, it, it brings it back to a like new condition. Uh, keep in mind that parachute is, Parashield is not designed to bring a, like a 1995 canopy back to life. If this is a canopy that you already intended on flying, you were flying it no matter what, and you were going to fly it regardless of if you were going to put the Parashield product, the uh, Parashield product is going to increase and enhance your, uh, your glide ability. It's going to uh, take care of the porosity issues that your canopy has. And basically it's going to overall improve the performance of your glider. What it won't do is make the canopy stronger. Okay, It's not going to bring that uh, really old glider back into shape. It's not going to uh, make the nylon any better, okay? So once again, uh, this is designed to be put onto a canopy that you're already intending on flying. So for today, right now the temperature is about 80 degrees or so, and that's why we're spraying one half of the uh, cell at a time. So uh, generally speaking, if it's cold temperatures, like 60 degrees or below, you can spray the entire canopy. But because the temperatures are so warm today, it's, uh, the, the product will dry you know, on one half and actually leave a, spot, a spotty or a mottled appearance that we don't want to get onto the uh, canopy. So we want to try to keep it looking like new as well as flying like new. So the product doesn't take very long to dry. And in fact, up here where she's still wiping the leading edge, one thing that we like to do is uh, after she's wiped down the entire leading edge and got it so it's all a uniform color, as soon as we do the entire glider, we'll usually go back and respray the leading edge again. So that, that's uh, something that we like to do. But when we go back and spray the leading edge a second time, we'll spray it using the spray function. So you'll see right there, it's a very, very light, light spraying, light application. And that does is just basically puts a uh, an extra coating over the over the leading edge of the wing, which is the uh, side of the wing that actually gets the majority of the uh, the usage. All right, and last but not least, I'm going to go back over here to the other end of the glider. You can see that it has this very shiny, shiny appearance now, but this is actually dry, so it dries very, very quickly, especially in warm uh, in warm temperatures. Now keep in mind, Parashield does have a UV blocker in there. Doing this in direct sunlight is not a, really a big deal because we're taking care of the problem. Uh, even though we're out in the sunlight, we're taking care of the problem by applying the product. Um, but you can also do this indoors. You can do it uh, inside of a garage, for example. I don't know that I do it inside my house, you know, where I had carpet and things. But, uh, you know, basically it gives it a nice brand new shiny appearance. You'll also, if you listen, also here... Okay, it doesn't have that crinkly sound anymore. Keep in mind that crinkly sound, that crinkly sound that we're accustomed to hearing out of a new wing is not necessarily a good thing. Uh, if you were to think of the coatings that they apply at the factory to the, the material, those coatings will, uh, will go on flat and as the material actually starts to, to bend and flex, it actually puts little tiny micro cracks inside the coating. So uh, that crinkly sound, like I said, not necessarily a good thing. Uh, after we apply the Parashield product, it uses a, uh, a plastic-like polymer in there that basically allows the, uh, the parachute to be a lot more flexible. So, and it fills in all of those, uh, those little cracks in the coating. So keep in mind that Parashield is a conditioner, it's not a coating. You can't take uncoated par parachute material and spray this on and expect it to work. It needs to have the original factory, encoder, factory coating intact. That way it can work off of the existing product. So once again, 
This is Dave from Blue Sky Powered Paragliding. We do have an application service. If you don't want to do this yourself, you can mail it to us, uh, mail your glider to us, and we will apply it for you. Um, usually the turnaround time is less than a week from the time that you ship it to us to the time that we send it back to you. Thanks, and have a great day.